There's a little version of Nine Pound Hammer. Uh, Nine Pound Hammer made for, famous by Merle Travis, um, played by Bill Monroe, Tony Rice, Doc Watson, um, and on down the line by a lot of different bluegrass musicians. Um, I think it's older than Merle Travis. I think it, it comes out in the 20s or the 30s. Um, there's a real old version of that song. Um, let's see here. So we're learning a break on a song. You gotta know the melody, you gotta know the chords. Here's the chords. Oh, the nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. But it for my size, but it for my size. Well, roll on, buddy. Don't you roll so slow. How can I roll when the wheels don't go? Okay, so the melody, a melody like this is kind of bluesy. And a, a good blues singer adds a lot of inflection to it. If I play the melody really like perfect notes, it doesn't sound good. So I gotta add some inflection to it like a singer would. A singer now can bend their voice, they can do all different kinds of good things. Um, in, in bluegrass guitar, we basically have slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs, and sometimes bends, but uh, I'm gonna add some slides and hammer-ons and pull-offs into this. Obviously, you can't slide into an open string, so that's why I'm coming up here to the fifth fret. That's why I'm coming up and getting the B note at the fourth fret. Okay, now I, I double up my notes, uh, kind of using a drone technique. I call this big pick, where you're you're hitting the melody on the lower string, and you're just letting your pick fall one too far, and you get two notes. Here I'll use a little double stop. That comes right from the G chord. Melody low, harmony high. And now here's my C chord. Looks like this, one finger. Every time I go to a C chord, put my finger right there. Because why? It's a G chord. Looks like that. C chord. Wheels don't go. Little G run at the end. Okay, so then the last thing I can add into that, there's a lot of space in this melody. Oh, the nine pound hammer is a little too heavy. And so what I'm going to do is extend the note. And the way I do that is I'm going to keep my hand in motion and essentially do like a shuffle. easier than it is you're gonna to have to spend some time kind of going getting that rhythm down it's really a bluegrass rhythm 
just on two notes. I'm going to slow that down as much as I can and see what it looks like, okay? A one, two, three, four, one. Now we've got a pretty good solo. That little shuffle rhythm is not as easy as it looks, okay? Uh, so don't sweat it if you don't get that right away. Um, I teach a class sort of like this, except uh, we're tabbing stuff out and we're taking input from all the students. It's an online class. I do it about every month. Uh, check it out at andyslessons.com. And literally what we do is we pick a bluegrass song and walk through how to make a break from beginning to end um, in about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and, you know, we start with the melody and the chords and the lyric, and in really simple ways, we add a little bit to it. And by the end, we've got a break that we can play, um, and it sounds good. That's the goal. And then the other goal is that, the reason I do it over and over with different songs, is that so people would get a process that they feel comfortable with where they could make up breaks to bluegrass songs themselves. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. And uh, we'll finish up. I'll just kind of freewheel a, a little version of Nine Pound Hammer here for fun. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Have a great day.